This is Toy Renee Talks. If you're new around here, welcome, welcome. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what does love really mean? I'm gonna dive into what does it mean in terms of loving yourself, loving other people, falling in love, being in love, in terms of your family and your friends and a significant other. Before I get into these points, I wanna recommend that you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe below. If you agree with what I'm saying on love, go ahead and let me know. If you don't agree, I'd still love to hear from you. And without further ado, let's get right into these points. Love yourself means to make sure that you're doing what's best for you. Whether that means making a sacrifice for yourself or giving yourself that extra time to relax, knowing that you're worthy of attention that you give other people, that all goes into self-love. I have a whole video on how to love yourself, which you can check out on my channel. For summary, I'm going to say that loving yourself means all those things and more. Taking the time to rest, taking the time to take care of your body, mind, and soul, so that you can make sure that you're the best person you can possibly be. It also means learning to say no to things that aren't benefiting you or aren't helping you with your growth in life. Remember that because you can't pour from an empty cup, right? You can't say, well, I, I'm i going to give all this love to everyone in the world, but you're forgetting yourself. And that's not something that you should be doing. Definitely love yourself first. Happiness starts with you. Take care of yourself. That's self-love. Once you love yourself, you're ready to give that love off to other people. And the way that you do that is you just practice the same love that you've been giving yourself, so you give that to other people as well. It's probably the easiest way to do this is by listening to someone. Either when they're venting or when they're just telling you about their day. Having a listening ear is so important because it lets someone know that you're really paying attention. And to pay attention is a form of love. You can do something kind for that person. Bring them their favorite meal or give them sound advice or even let them have the last piece of something that you really love, <laughs> but it's something that you're making a sacrifice for them as well. And it doesn't have to be a huge sacrifice as long as you're doing something that shows that you care. That's what loving other people is all about. Now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about falling in love. Falling in love to me is when you're starting to see this person in a deeper sense or a deeper light. You're starting to realize that, hey, I can probably see myself being with this person long term. Or it also means that you're starting to appreciate the little things that they do and you're starting to realize that even things that may seem bothersome are things that you are willing to tolerate because you're starting to fall for this person. And it, it is possible to fall in love with the wrong person. It's also very possible to fall in love with the right person, obviously. Falling in love is when you're starting to catch really deep feelings. And it's like a warm, fuzzy <laughs> feeling in, in, in a very um, general terms, uh, emotionally and mentally. That's what falling in love is, in, in my opinion. Being in love is a step further. So you've fallen already, you've like hit the pavement of love, you're like on the surface and going deeper, deeper, deeper in it. When you're actually in love with someone, it's kind of like a, a, a connection between self-love and loving other people, except you're focused on just that person and you're giving them your attention, your time, your energy, you're being kind and patient and understanding. You're not letting everything blow up and become horrific when something goes wrong. You're more trying to work with each other and compromise. And that's what being in love is all about. It's compromising with your significant other to make the best of any situation. It's putting them before you at times. It's being the best you can be for them and for yourself so that you both can work together to get to a great goal together. That's what being in love is. So now that we've gone over all of those different kinds of love with yourself and with other people, loving your family, your friends, and your significant other are all different forms of love, but in a way they kind of 
go within the same realm of that, of those previous examples. Let's start with your family. These are the people that are connected to you biologically, and sometimes they come into your life later on. But regardless, you it's, it's always good to express love to your family because after all, they're blood. Now, this is not always an easy thing. Sometimes some families don't get along and there are different situations that go into that. It's important to remember that we're all on this earth for a short period of time, relatively, and we're all just passing through. So why not give love to people who are within your bloodline and connected to you while you can? even if it's not something that they return to you. We only have a limited amount of time to share this with each other, so why not do it now? Friends are the family that we choose. Someone once put it that way. If you love your family, you can express that to your friends as well, checking up on them, letting them know that even though some you haven't talked to in six days, six months, six years, whatever the case may be, Checking up on your friends is really a form of showing them that you love them. What does it mean to love your friends? It's the same way that you love yourself and you love other people, you love strangers, you support them in things that they do, dreams and their goals. It's a form of love and it's not something that should be taken for granted. Loving a significant other. Some people start off as being friends and then turn into significant others for each other. What does that mean to love your significant other? Well, it means to make each other happy or add to each other's happiness. Happiness is when you know that you're doing the best for yourself, for that other person, and for each other. So, thank you so much for listening to my video today. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below on your versions of love, what you feel love is, what you don't feel love is, if you agree or disagree with me. I love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much once again for tuning in. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, same name, Toy Renee Talks. If you want to follow me, go right ahead. I'd love to see you guys on there as my followers. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.